Jacob Briss was born in Ribe, Denmark on May 3, 1849. He was a social reformist, writer, and photographer. Riss documented the atrocious living conditions of the slums in New York City. Most of the photographs you will see have come from Riss's book entitled How the Other Half Live. This image, entitled Bend, was taken by Riss. In this photograph, the viewer is allowed to see the many people and buildings along the street. Riss uses the curve of the street as a natural vanishing point, giving the viewer an uncertain end to the picture. Does the other side of the bend have a better look than this? Or is it a never-ending circle of unhappiness? This image was taken in the Hell's Kitchen section of the city, where the very poor Irish immigrant population lived. The composition of this photograph is very interesting to me. It shows the semi-high-rise building to the left with its styled apartments located next to a shanty-style home on the right. The photograph shows the difference between the poor and then the poorest of the poor living in that area. This image is one of my favorites. There is so much detail in the houses. The viewer can see the warped wood sidings, partially nailed down tin roofs, and broken or glassless windows of the building. Riss, as a social reformist and an ethically evaluative photographer, took this photograph to be an eye-opener for the middle and upper-class families that lived in the city at the time. This is another of my favorites. It depicts seven men in what seems to be a very small room trying to sleep. These men each paid seven cents to sleep in those beds, if that's what you would call them. What I really like about this photograph is that the subject isn't just one individual person in the room. It shows the plight of all of those in the room, but also how lucky they are to have a bed to sleep in. As stated earlier, Riss is indeed an ethically evaluative photographer. He offers interpretations of life on the streets and in the poor neighborhoods. Riss wanted to show these powerful images to the ones at the top to show how the ones at the bottom greatly needed help. This very powerful image shows three boys sleeping in the gutter next to a barrel and a large pile of dirt. It brings up feeling of sadness to see children living this way. It also brings up questions like where are the boys' parents and why are they sleeping in the streets alone? This image was taken on Mulberry Street. Back in the 1900s, this was a notoriously dangerous place to be. It was depicted in the movie Gangs of New York as one of gang wars and bloodshed. This photograph shows how dangerous slum life could be. In the image, you see a man holding a club-like piece of wood and many other men standing along the alleyway or hanging out of the windows. Wirst was trying to show how this was a place you did not want to stumble upon. Another powerful image taken by Wirst showed an older woman cradling a baby while sitting on a dirty stoop. The stoop is also connected to a building where the woman possibly lives, covered in dirt and grime. For my final image, I chose one that was not of strife and woe. It is of children playing stickball in the streets. I really like the background wrist shot in. It shows that they are still in the slums, but that people there enjoy cleanly washed and dried linens, and that the children can still be playing and be children. It shows that even though that these people are poor and destitute and may seem dirty, that they greatly want what any person in the city wanted at a time, a place for their children to be happy, to be loved, and to be clean.